Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind let's play of Persona 4. So um yeah it's raining again tonight something might appear on the midnight channel watch TV in your room because we have no other choice yet. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Will it be Yukiko? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, a another animated cutscene. Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Well, this certainly is different. Uh, she didn't appear... Uh, she has appeared quite a bit more reserved than usually. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Uh, try to contact Yukiko. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, oh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Okay. You promised to meet up with Josuke tomorrow. You decided to go, bed, to go to bed early tonight. Huh, that is... Quite a peculiar situation. Will the fog even clear up today? Oh, good morning. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Always. Oh, Dojima, you're such a hard-working man. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Oh, Nanaka, you are so reliable. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Yeah. You decided to go out. Okay, okay, well, I'm, this is gonna be quite interesting. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. So cool. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Uh, the katana. Ai kuchi. Okay. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Hmm. <laughs> or like this? What about this? Oh, police. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. <laughs> huh? Oh, crap! I mean... No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. 
Uh, we didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> oh, well, in America, that would be quite not that unusual, I suppose. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> you were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspect. Oh, Yosuke, your antics are ever-changing. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. <laughs> you know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. How ironic that this is how Persona 5 starts. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hmm. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. Okay. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Well, it's a learning experience. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? Ah, uh, she he's not a re very reliable detective. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But... People have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By okay. the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Mm-hmm. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. Oh. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? No. By the way, he's letting on Amagi quite a bit. That she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Hmm. So Adachi is very a loose mouth. He has quite loose lips. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... What are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere. Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her cell, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her <laughs> house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside... The cops are saying some weird stuff. 
They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. Okay. I think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Uh, let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going too! And that's final! I'm gonna save Yukiko no matter what! Okay. Well, she said we'll see right? determined. Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? I know just the place. Oh, that's convenient. Come on, follow me. Huh. Well, this is quite Here we are. Quite fortunate. What kind of shop is this? A uh, metalworks, I, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Huh. That's fortunate. Oh, here, this one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yukiko might die from this, for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! Okay, but stay behind us. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Hmm. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Okay. Oh wow, that's that's quite a bit of money. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. It's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Well, this is getting rather exciting now. Hey, hey, have you come to look at my art? Please look around, take your time. Apologies for a second. Okay, so let's buy some weaponry. That's for you, Suke. Um, okay. Hunting Alpha. Okay. 
Yep. Sell everything. It percentage goes down a little bit. That's unfortunate. Can we buy some armor? Oh, that's too expensive. How about some accessories? Okay. Well, I suppose that's... Oh, the Velvet Room. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you give me a moment of your time. Okay. The Velvet Key in your pocket is shining. And this is our entrance way to Velvet Room. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Okay. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. Yep. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Okay. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At okay. times, they may it's be hard to It's going to be probably. Grasp, but you must. It's going to, to probably be a. Reach out to them. Uh, it's probably going to be a similar mini game as in Persona 3. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be okay. one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Mm -hmm. Please see me when you wish to use it. Okay. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Oh, that is rather Please do compromising. not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Okay. Until then, farewell. Alrighty then. Oh, a save point.
Um, I wonder if I should talk. I wonder if I need to read all of these things. Remember that you're supposed to meet the others at Junae's food court. Head to June's? Junae's? Yes. Okay. We really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. <clears throat> yeah. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? I wonder how they are so um, surprisingly quickly getting accustomed to having personas. Whoa, it really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. It seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude. Yes, Yosuke, you You're were right, quite though. rude. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, yeah. someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? Miss? Oh, I'm Chie. But never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. Okay. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Not like we have a choice. What the... A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? Hmm. Probably. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and Shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. Okay. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? Mm, I've never seen very this many program things. thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, mm, Yukiko yeah, saying brother stuff fear. like, score myself a hot stud. It's not like her at all. Well, that's probably because it was Yukiko's Score. shadow. Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder... Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Okay. Ah, uh, I don't get this at all. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? 
I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, oh, wait, don't, don't that's a bad oh, idea. We better follow her. She should, should really wait for us to go first because we can fight and she can't. She ran off on her own. Ugh. There's a lot of shadows in the castle. It would be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Chie. Oh, hey! Take this, okay? Revival beat. This too. These are for you, I collected them myself. Okay. Be careful. She hasn't gone that far yet. Ugh, she ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Um, wait a second. The shadows haven't gotten have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try and get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. Yep. Good. Getting some revival beats will certainly be useful. Incisor. Huh. Okay. Not bad, partner. Probably gonna start editing battles out very soon. Maybe after um, this tutorial castle has been cleared. Um, castle. I don't know if these are called castles. After this tutorial dungeon, I will be editing out the battles, at least with random, random um, shadows. Oh, that's the stairs up. Gotta explore everything we have, we can, to get to become stronger. Watching Persona 5, let's play. It's. Oh! Oh! You see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp. But you must master your fear and reach out to them. 
Okay. Uh, this is quite a bit harder, huh? This minigame certainly is quite a bit harder than it is in Persona 3. Which is unfortunate because I would have really liked to gain the slime Persona. That's the Persona of the full Arcana, I think. I'm running low on SP soon. You hit its weakness. That's how it's done, Sensei. Go, Sensei. You. All right. Good answer. Unfortunate that we, we didn't gain any new personas in this floor at the very least. Now we got to run all the way back to the... Oh! Another chance. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Okay, I'm gonna... Stop. Oh! Yosuke, uh, direct I'm commands, per preferably. Alright, maybe I'll do better this time. Apsaras, now that's something that I would like. Got it. How do I still remember the name of some of them? Oh, that's good. Uh, well, actually, this would be a pretty good time to end the episode on, so thank you all very much for watching, I hope to see you all in the future, have a great day and stay awesome, and move out.